Almost a decade ago, I was in Bali and my business mentor shared something really profound that resonated with me on a very deep soul level. But my mind at that time just couldn't comprehend it fully. After I came back to Singapore, I had my spiritual awakening three months later and everything makes perfect sense. I understand what my mentor was trying to convey and I was supposed to hear the message at the time just before I had my spiritual awakening and now I'm sharing it with you. If you're watching this now, it means it's time for you to wake up. Have you watched a movie and you're so engrossed in it that you feel like you are living the story? This is exactly what it feels like before spiritual awakening. We're sleepwalking throughout our lives. We do things automatically based on our belief system and conditioning as if we are the characters in the movie. I call this the movie analogy and I share it in one of my books called The Empty Your Cup. Our human experiences can actually be split into three parts. The body, the mind, and the spirit. The body is like the actor. It's like a character in the movie. We act out the scenes based on the script that we're given. We don't deviate from the script. When we are the characters in a movie, we don't know what will happen next. We don't know whether our circumstances will improve. We just follow the script that is given to us. The mind is like the director. It's also a script writer. It writes the script for the actor to perform. It directs how the actor should position himself and tell the actor what to do next. If the director wants the actor to be sad and miserable, then the actor will have to be sad and miserable. The director gave the actor a role to play, just like how our minds give us an identity. For example, if your mind gives you the role of a kind and compassionate mother, then you will have to play that role. Or if your mind gives you an identity that you are a bad person, then you will have to play the role of like, feeling guilty for the things that you have done previously, or if your mind tells you that you are a loser with no friends, then you have to play the victim role. Whatever identity your mind has assigned to you, you have to carry out the action to fit your identity, your role. Your role determines what action you take. If you are given a role that is unworthy of success and love, you are procrastinate and not take any action that will get you your desire because you will defy the role that you have to play that is given to you. However, there is still the spirit. The spirit is like the audience. It's the observer, the awareness, watching the movie. Before spiritual awakening, we suffer along with the actor. We feel their pain and emotion. But we don't realize that we are the audience, not the actor. We're so absorbed in the movie and the story that we forget that we are actually not in the movie. We're just watching the movie. This is commonly known as being unconscious. After we go through a spiritual awakening, we start to wake up and we realize that we are not our minds. There is now space between you, your spiritual self, the audience, and the mind, the director. The movie is still playing just like how our mind is still playing the narrative in our heads. But we are not engrossed in the movie anymore. There is a space between the spirit and the mind and that's where we get to choose. The purpose of the director is to create a movie that is worth watching for the audience. When there is no audience, the mind loses its purpose, its meaning. As the audience, if you see the actor is in pain and suffering and that isn't a movie that you want to watch, you can always get out and leave the cinema. You can choose not to watch the movie. If a TV program is boring or doesn't resonate with your soul, you can always flip the channel. You don't have to sit there and continue to watch it. Movies are made for the audience, not the director. A movie that isn't worth watching will lose the attention of the audience. The same applies to the identity that our mind has created for us. The mind doesn't have any power over us. If we are not interested in what our mind is saying, we can always choose not to listen to it. 
we can just observe our thoughts and let the thoughts go. This is what commonly known as mindfulness. And when we do that, the mind has no choice but to create a movie that is worth watching for the spirit. Otherwise, it will lose its job, its purpose. When you are spiritually awakened, your spirit is the leader, not your mind. Your spirit determines what kind of movie you want to watch, and your mind goes to produce it. It's not the other way around. Movies can be fun and entertaining, but they will eventually end. No matter how much you're suffering right now, know that it won't last forever. The suffering ends when the movie ends, and you can end it when you decide not to give this movie any more of your attention. It's like, nope, sorry, this isn't the movie that I want to watch. And your mind will have no choice but to follow your spirit's guidance. If you find yourself constantly drawn to your mind's drama and narrative, I'll tell you why in this next video.